Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to It's Only. It is Thanksgiving time, which means that it's our Thanksgiving slash Christmas holiday all wrapped into one. And we're starting this journey off today in our local antique store here in the hometown of mom and dad called Trash and Treasures. We're on the lookout for some Christmas decorations because a lot of ours took a poop last year and we're kind of low on supplies. So we're looking to fill in some gaps and enjoy the holiday season. So please join, join It's All Me and its family as we celebrate the holidays. So we already found one thing, it's not Christmas, but Tiny and I really want to go biking together. So I think this is the obvious choice is tandem bicycling. And we're gonna get this for Tiny as well because she's still learning how to ride without training yeah. wheels. <laughs> and it's so cute, it's a radio flyer. Yeah, it's vintage. <laughs> so here's the seasonal section, at least one of them. All the Halloween stuff. A little Christmas tree. And then some Christmas stuff. I like that little tree. 22 bucks, I don't think so. And then Christmas. Oh, look at that ornament. Coke. Christmas Coke. It's an ornament with a black Vikings hat on. Don't look at my gift wrap, okay? It's for your it's supreme. Yeah? Fine. Oh ho! Nice. Found this. It says try not to drop everything. What? Forty to sixty on the eBay, baby. Following tiny. Finding some goodies. Seth is already like, all right, let's get there first before they get there, so we can get all the good stuff. I'm gonna jump right back to the Christmas stuff because that's what I'm here to look for. I'll show you also something that I found. <laughs> So, my parents' hometown is called Rockwell City, and Seth and I were homeschooled, but we, and, but we also attended the school district for a few years, and it was called the Rockwell City Wild, Rockwell City Litton Wildcats. Well, I found this minty booster jacket, Wildcat Booster, Rockwell City Litton. Now, the thing about this school district is it doesn't exist anymore. It was it consolidated with a couple nearby towns. So this is vintage now. all the Christmas stuff. That's cute. All right, so we found some old lights here. We need to repair the upper half of our small tree in our bedroom. So let's see if they work. Yeah, it's perfect. And it's super Christmassy. So there we go, we found one thing that we need. We're also buying other things, but you just haven't seen them yet. Tiny's looking at Christmas ribbon. Christmas glasses. Yes. What are these? Oh, they're little steak lights and they're solar powered. Oh, that's fun. A little candy dish. Every time a bell rings, an angel gets its wings. All right, so we found some outdoor lights for our, our deck. So that's great. Tiny's looking at some garland which matches her outfit really nicely. Oh, it makes her look like an angel. I could wear it. I could wear it like a Christmas You could. Tree. You could look like Moira on Ish Creek. <laughs> it's a lot of garland too. That actually look really nice on our tree. Yeah. I was actually thinking I want to line like a doorway or okay. something with yeah. garland. I was actually thinking like natural looking garland like this, mm. but you're not opposed to really bright. No. Gold. And it's a buck? Three. Three? Oh, okay. That's fine. That's a lot there. You can even piece it out too. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Look at the snowmen. We always like snowmen. That's why we man. have so many. Yeah, we've somehow managed to collect a horde of snowmen figures over these last few years we've been married. And we don't even realize how it happened. It just, everyone's like, hey, we're getting rid of some snowmen. Do you want them? We're like, yes. So we just have a ton of snowmen. We'll have to show you once our, our house is fully decorated. I'll have to show you guys. Yeah, just look at all these fun things, all consignment, all with a story. We got some glitter balls, we got some gold balls, we got some green balls, but no blue balls. I'm sorry. Disney princess stocking? Yo, I'm gonna get this right now. Hey, look at this tree skirt. That's pretty. That's pretty. And it's stained though. Ooh, look at this one. Fancy. Whoa. Wow. 
Our house isn't right. that expensive. No, we're, we're not that bougie. No. And more glasses, more glasses. Mm -hmm. This little candle holder. It's mm -hmm. cute. That is cute. Yeah. Oh, this is a cool cup. So classic. Yeah. All sorts of things. Oh, we have these. We have that. These are home. We drink uh, eggnog in them. Look at this. Pew. <laughs> that creeps me out. That, that would legit come alive and like be like walking through the house like this it's, in the middle of the night. It's gangly arms. Yes. <laughs> it's so creepy. Ew. I don't think I've ever shared on my channel how much I love pastel colors, but like Easter decorations. I just love, I love Easter colors. Like it's not even Christmas time yet, technically. It's Thanksgiving is tomorrow, but I'm already for Easter. Now we come into the old glasses. Oh, look at that. Got this old Minnie Mouse cup. 1987. That's when I was born. This thing's 34 years old. Dang. From Walmart 25th anniversary. Boy, Mickey Mouse Club. Mercy, that has some age to it, kids. All the old, all the old goodies. And tiny. What, what time to find? With anything you want. Is it for like food? Yeah, it's a bowl, but you can fill it. And with any color tissue paper you want. Decorate it, or flowers, or. Oh, that's true. Like rocks. This, the, or rocks. This has what? flowers in it. That's crazy. Yeah. I've never seen anything like that before. Um, either. Wow. Or candy. You can put candy. Candy. Mm. Some jelly beans or something. Look at that the thermos. That's fresh. We're all finished up. We got two bags of goodies. We're actually gonna drive out either last night, or actually I think it was yesterday morning, a truck stop just outside of town that uh, has served a lot of this community actually burnt down. So we're gonna drive out there and uh, take a look at it. There's like $5 million worth of damage done. So we'll see how close we can get. We'll uh, take a drive out there and see what it looks like. Well, we drove out to the gas station and we couldn't get close enough to really showcase it to you. So we're back home now. We're back in the Christmas atmosphere, the Thanksgiving miss atmosphere. And we got grandpa and aunt 90 playing with the man. The huggable hero. <laughs> say hi, buddy. Hi. He said hello. Say hello, YouTube. Hello, YouTube. What are we watching, Manly? Elmo. You watching Elmo? Where is, where is Elmo? Can you point to him? Manly, take me to go. Take me to Elmo. Can you take me to him? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Where's Elmo at? Huh? Elmo. Are you playing with toys? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, goodbye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Um, yeah, that's Boompa. Yep. Stand with Boompa. Bye. Well, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Yeah. It's We're outside in a crisp, cool 30 degree afternoon here in Rockwell City, Iowa. And we're going to launch Seth's drone and look at Rockwell City from 30,000 feet in the air. <laughs> Yep, 30,000 feet. So once this takes off, then you're gonna get the vantage point from the drone. And Sess and Shorts, as we told, told you last year during the ITS AK News Blizzard Report, you need to wear high socks, vintage shoes, and shorts, and Seth is adhering to those standards. Yep, All right, here we go, backing up. Plane's getting ready for takeoff. Wow! All right, we're gonna go ahead and transfer to the drone footage in three, two, one, go!